over the seniors, you guys are accustomed to winning here. How good did it feel after last year against Dartmouth to come back and play and play at the high level that you did and just sort of dominate? Yeah, um, Dartmouth was tough last spring. We, uh, you know, had such a tough loss against them. So we've been training hard and looking forward to this exact moment here, um, playing them in the kickoff, and it was amazing. Uh, we came out strong in doubles. Huge performance by Jackie and Adam to clinch the doubles point. And uh, yeah, you know, Tim did his thing as usual, got off fast, and you know, I, I just tried to follow and got the win quick as well to put us at 3-0, three, three so it was a really good feeling. Tim, it's, it seems like it's every time we're here, it's something about that court down there. Uh, you seem very comfortable today. Can you talk about just the first set, how you were able to fight through a little bit, and then in the second, yeah, go and dominate? Really just another day in the office. Um, you know, he came out, he's a big hitter, good server, but you know, I just wanted to find my groove and uh, try to get it going, and that's what I did. I was very comfortable down there, just wanted to finish uh, as quickly as I could, get on the scoreboard, put some pressure on them, and, you know, obviously, uh, you count as Baker and Austin, all these guys, credit to, to all of our team, who really brought it. You know, the Dartmouth match, I mean, it goes without saying, it really stung. Uh, so I, I think it was a very big motivating uh, force for all of us, and uh, hopefully we'll get it going in Chicago as well. Yeah, Austin, I want to ask, I mean, you've had a few really great moments to clinch. How did today feel, especially when you got that break on the back end there and then you were able to hold surf? Yeah, today's, today's clinch meant probably the most to me. In this match, I've been waiting almost eight months to play these guys again. We had a tough, tough loss. I, I, was, hard, I was so heartbroken after the loss last night, so today's win meant so much to me. I just I knew that I could count on Tim and Vic like always, and I know Adam was coming back, Hugh was coming back. These guys were fighting. It was really nice to have them alongside me, and I just can't emphasize more about how much I'm excited to take take national awards. Yeah, talk about for those people who don't know Ivy League tennis, right? I, I mean, they've probably been under a rock for a while, but can you talk about? the Ivy League, how you have two teams competing at the highest level here to go to national indoors, how you all have sort of set this standard for Ivy League tennis, where you're competing against some of these teams in bigger conferences and having a lot of success. Talk about Ivy League tennis, what this means to you. Yeah, I think in the past couple of years, maybe past five, there's been a huge uh, development in Ivy League tennis. Um, you know, starting off, I think, with us, Columbia Tennis, um, we've been We've been competing at the highest level against, you know, top universities um, at the national stage. And, and, you know, in the past two years, I'd say, Cornell and Dartmouth has, have really followed as well. I think at one point last year, we were all in the top 30, which was amazing for the Ivy League in general. So mm -hmm. um, it's always nice to have a good conference. It helps, yeah. it helps with our ranking as well. For sure. And then, Tim, can you talk about representing the Ivy League? Right. Not just representing Columbia, but representing the Ivy League at right. National Indoors. Absolutely. Last year was a huge program sort of breakthrough performance yeah. there. Talk about expectations going into Chicago this year. Yeah, I mean, first speaking to where we stand with the Ivy League in general, I mean, this really shows that from a tennis and athletic standpoint, you can really come to a school like Columbia and achieve your greatest potential both on the court, in the classroom, you know, it, there's this common notion that, you know, it has to be one or the other, you have to compromise something, but I think what our team's really shown is that you don't really have to do that, you can get the most out of whatever you, you pursue, mm -hmm. and, you know, Dartmouth and Cornell, those schools are, have been on the chopping block and up as well, so... You know, I think there's definitely a trend that you'll see in the next few years that the Ivy League schools are just going to keep getting better and better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're very excited to be sort of paving this path. Yeah, I mean, last year at National Indoors, we showed this. We, we beat Baylor, OK State, and, you know, we played a close one with Georgia. All these teams in the Power Five, they should be recognizing uh, the Ivy League as a conference. Uh, to, you know, as a force For so. sure. And then last question. Um, you see back there, uh, there are five banners, five in a row. You guys have won five Ivy League titles in a row. Um, what would it mean to you, right, not only representing the Ivy League, but going forward with the season coming up, to put a sixth one up there? I mean, obviously it's the goal, but just talk about what it would mean to look up and see six in a row for this program. 
Yeah, it would be amazing, especially for us seniors, um, to go out, go out of our careers with a perfect IV record. Um, you know, would be, you know, what we work for every day. Um, and that's kind of, you know, establishing a legacy and dynasty here at Columbia Tennis that we want to keep, um, you know, for years to come. So mm -hmm. you know, it, it'd be great. Is it? Is it? Is there pressure to, to win again, to live up to those teams, or is it more just you guys are going out every day and you're doing think, your thing? And I think Tim put it the best at the beginning of the season. Um, our coaches set goals for us to uh, do. So we want to make NCAA Sweet 16. We want to win Ivies. But I think Tim, my captain, put it the best way. He wants us to take it one match at a time, one day at a time, one ball at a time. And that's how we should go into the season. That's how we should go into national indoors. Because that's why I did coming into this kick IT kickoff weekend. And that's why I think we played some of the best tennis this week. Congrats, guys.